Welcome to A Fishing Story with Ronnie Green. Today we're going to be doing a fish dish. Every Thursday on our social media we post a recipe of a fish dish. Today we're going to be doing the Mediterranean cod. We have posted this recipe a few weeks ago. It's called Mediterranean fish. There's different kind of fishes you can use. Today we're going to be using cod. This is a super easy recipe. There's only eight or nine ingredients that are needed for it. The only thing that we don't have that the recipe calls for is cod cappers. Honestly, I've never used that. I could not find it in the grocery store. The recipe does say that you can substitute that for with black olives. Again, I didn't even I didn't get black olives. So that's the only ingredient that's going to be missing from this recipe. This is a super easy recipe and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make it. All right, the recipe does not call for it to be greased. I'm gonna do it just so I can feel better about it. So I'm gonna grease it. It's only me and my husband that's gonna be trying this today, so I'm only gonna put two. The recipe does call for a pound. So all the measurements that I'm gonna be doing is four pounds of fish. I don't think this is a pound. If it isn't, it's pretty close. But you could eyeball it. I'm gonna follow the recipe. And if I just feel like it's a little bit too much, then I, I'll, just, I'll just eyeball it. So first you have to preheat your oven to 400. As you can probably tell, mine has already been preheated. Okay, and then you're gonna lay your fish, your cod, whatever kind of um, fish that you want. We will post the recipe in the description so you can see what other kind of fish you could use for this recipe. Again, we're using cod. The first thing that you have to do is you have to have three tablespoons of melted butter. So I went ahead and got that done already. I'm gonna pour that in, in this little bowl and then you need one fourth of a cup of olive oil. And you are gonna mix the butter with olive oil. And just mix that up until you got, got it mixed pretty good. And then you're gonna pour this over the cod. Now the recipe does say that if you do not have butter, it's okay, you can only use olive oil if you want. I did have butter, so I did use it. So if you don't have butter, it's okay. And you're just gonna pour this over your cod. Butter always makes everything taste better. Like honestly, just with pouring that, I feel like that's too much, but you can never have enough butter. Then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Coriander. I don't know if I'm saying this correctly. This is my first time ever using it. But um, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of paprika. All right, so I have half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do the paprika first. And then you're just gonna sprinkle it over your cod. I'm not gonna lie, this is already looking like really good. All right, that's your paprika. And then now I'm gonna go with the Coriander, coriander, half a teaspoon as well. I feel like it's all gonna come out in one, so I'm just gonna pour it in my hand and just dash it over the cod. Okay, and then you're just gonna do your, your salt. The recipe called for kosher salt, so this is what I got. Just kind of sprinkle it over. Don't wanna use too much because your butter has salt. So if you put a lot of salt in it and you have your butter, then it's gonna be a little too salty. And then the recipe does call for fresh pepper. I don't have fresh pepper, so I'm just gonna use um, ground black pepper. Oh wow, this looks good. Okay, and then it calls for lime, or lemon. You can just lay them on top of your cod. I'm gonna lay one in the um, in the juice. Okay, so after you add your lemons, your sliced lemons, you're gonna add three, I sliced up three garlic cloves. I'm gonna ask for chopped garlic, so I'm, and this is fresh garlic. If you use minced garlic or ground, I wouldn't use ground for this, but I'm using fresh garlic, so whatever makes you feel better, Whatever garlic you like better, it's it's fine. I'm using fresh garlic. So this is what you get. Again, I don't have the caps, capes, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, 
but that one ingredient I do not have. The recipe calls to top it off with that or black olives. But just with this alone, it looks really good. So you're gonna put it in your oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Not every oven cooks the same, not every oven is the same. So you're just gonna have to check on it in about 15 minutes or until your top, your fish is flaky. You don't wanna overcook your fish. So just check on it within, I would say about 13 minutes and see if it's flaky or not. If it's not flaky, then give it another two to five minutes. Just make sure that you don't overcook your fish. All right, it's going in the oven. Okay. So now we wait for 15 to 20 minutes. Like I said, everybody's oven is different. Mine took 30 minutes to cook, and it's just right. It's a little flaky. If we would have left it any longer, it would have overcooked. So that is that. It looks really good. It smells really good. So I'm excited to try it. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon over it, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to top it off with some fresh cilantro. So it smells really good. It looks really good. I am gonna try it. Cilantro is actually my favorite, so I'm kind of excited to try this. Let's give it a try. Look how pretty that looks, it just falls off. All right, I'm gonna try it with some cilantro. Okay. This is actually really good. The paprika, you can taste the paprika a lot. This is really good. This is something very easy. Again, your ingredients, you don't need that much ingredients. So this is something like if you work all day long, if you just need something real, like a fast lunch or fast dinner, you could easily do this recipe. It's really good. Thank you for watching. If you do try it, um, post in the comments below. Let us know how your recipe went. What did you think about the recipe? And we will see you again with another Fish Dish Thursday.